Okay, our goal on this is mathematical modeling using integrals. So as we get going on this, we're given that a company determines their marginal cost for production in dollars per item is going to be given by MC for marginal cost is 4 divided by the square root of X plus 2, where uh, when producing X thousand items. And what we want to do is we want to find the cost of increasing the production from 4,000 items, right, an X value, to 5,000 items, another X value. So it's important to note on this, as we're thinking about it, that marginal cost is the derivative of the cost function. So the derivative of our cost function is the same thing as the marginal cost. This means that we're going to be able to determine this cost by integrating the derivative going in between 4 and 5,000 items, right? Those are x values, and we're going to insert in the marginal cost function here. And this will be integrated with respect to x. So in our case, that's going to be going from 4 to 5. And then our marginal cost function will be 4 divided by the square root of x plus 2 in the integrand with a dx after it. Now before we integrate this, I am going to rewrite that square root. I'm going to think of that as being raised to the 1 half power. So 4 over x to the 1 half power, a rational exponent that means the same thing as that radical, plus 2. All right, one more rewriting this before we integrate. I'm going to, again, do a little bit of playing around with the exponents. I'm going to rewrite that x to the 1 half power that's in the denominator. I'm going to move it up to the numerator and make it a negative exponent. So a little bit of playing around with exponents to get going. But from here, I'm going to be allowed to use our power rule in order to integrate. All right, so I'm going to bring the 4 along. I'm going to increase the exponent by 1, so negative 1 half plus 1. I'm going to strategically write that 1, thinking of it as 2 over 2. All right, that's the same thing as adding 1. So our new exponent is going to be 1 half. Now normally what we would do out in front is divide by that new exponent. But equivalently to dividing by 1 half would be multiplying by its reciprocal 2 over 1 or 2. All right, plus, now we want to integrate 2. It's a constant right now, so when we integrate it, it's going to have to have an x to go with it. This is all going to be evaluated between 4 and 5. All right, now let's actually go ahead and do the evaluating. Now, I'm going to think of that 4 times 2 as being 8 out in front, but this is going to give us 8, and I'm going to evaluate at our upper bound of integration. I'm going to put the 5 to the 1 half power, plus 2. I'm going to plug in the 5 for the x on the second one as well, minus, now big set of parentheses, again, 4 times 2, I'm thinking 8, and now I'm going to evaluate the 4 into each of the x's. So 4 to the 1 half power, plus 2 times 4 for that other x. Now I did include that big set of parentheses, and the big reason for that is because this gets subtracted away, that subtraction or that negative needs to be applied to both of those terms. All right, now cleaning this up a little bit more, I'm going to go with 8, and then instead of that 1 half as an exponent, I'm going to think square root of 5, because 1 half as an exponent or the square root over top means the same thing plus 10, minus, on the inside here, again, I'm going to think square root of 4, because in my head, I visualize taking the square root of 4 better than 4 raised to the 1 half power, although they are equivalent. And then 2 times 4 at the end makes 8. All right, cleaning this up a little bit further. Can't do much with that square root of 5. But on the inside of this set of parentheses, we can say, well, that's 8 times 2 plus 8 which will be 8 square root of 5 plus 10. Now, if you're okay with it, I'm going to go ahead and distribute that negative from the outside as well as do 8 times 2 makes 16. And then distributing that negative to that 8, it's going to be minus 8 at the end. All right, we can combine our like terms and go ahead and say, well, 10 minus 16 plus 8 
is going to work out to be negative 14. And that's a good exact answer, exactly how we have it right there. However, we could go ahead and get an approximation. If we wanted to, this is going to be about 3.8885 as an approximation. And that pretty much concludes it. We have an exact answer and we have an approximation. Um, and that's how you're going to work this problem. So I hope this helps out as you get going on um, finding total costs, given marginal costs.